Hello, my name is Mary Roddy. I'm a radiologist from Charing Cross Hospital in London and a member of the OSIRIX UK user group. And I want to uh, spend the next few minutes telling you ways of optimising uh, plain radiographs that you import into your OSIRIX database from your PAC system and uh, to make them uh, optimal for teaching or examining or using in presentations or publications. Uh, so I'm going to open up OSIRIX first of all. Um, I'm using the latest version here at the time I'm recording this video. This is uh, version 5.5.2 and you can see that into my local default database I've imported three cases from my collection. So let's look at this uh, first case uh, here. This is a chest radiograph and if I open it up you can see that the cropping is not perfect and there's a, a white band at the side of the image here which I would prefer to get rid of. So how do we go about doing that? Well, if you look on the top uh, toolbar, you'll see you have um, an ROI tool here. There are lots of uh, different options, uh, including length and angle, but I'm going to select the rectangle here. And that allows me to draw uh, a rectangle onto my image where I would like it to be cropped. Now you'll see that at the same time the uh, green region of interest has appeared, two uh, red icons have appeared as well, a not for medical usage icon and an area down here that's telling me the area inside the rectangle. Um, they're not very attractive but don't worry about that, at the moment I'll show you how to get rid of those. So to crop this image, we're going to go up to the top uh, toolbar again and select the shutter tool. And once I press that, the image is cropped. Now you'll see that the uh, measurement of the area within the region of interest is gone, but the not for medical usage sign is, is still there. So to get rid of that, if you go up to your annotations menu and click none, you'll find that that disappears. So we've now got a, a nicely cropped image and that's fine, but unless we do something to save that, we're going to lose that and not have it available next time we open up the case. So it's very important once you've got the image the way you want it to be, that you go to the file uh, option on the uh, menu bar at the top and select export and in the export uh, menu bar select export to DICOM files. Now when you click that button this uh, page appears and we want to select current image only because this is just one image. Uh, we uh, can call it chest x-ray you could call it whatever you like. Um, I'll keep that there because this is a chest x-ray. And then this is a very important bit. In the image format bar, it's very important that you don't select uh, option one because this has got regions of interest in it and so will therefore show us that red not for medical usage uh, icon. So I've selected uh, option two and once I click that you will see that we've got uh, we've saved that cropped image now if I go back to the database window instead of just showing our original radiograph here uh, it's showing us the new one which is cropped and you can see is called chest x-ray now at this point I usually delete this image and that's what I'll do because I don't want to keep that anymore so I delete that selected series thumbnail. It will ask me if I'm sure I want to delete it and I'll say yes. And now that case has just got one nicely uh, cropped and windowed radiograph. Okay, so let's look at another case. And this is a slightly more complicated problem. This case, 
has come across uh, badly cropped, but also upside down. And this is quite a common problem uh, when you export from packs. But again, it's not a problem. Uh, we have a couple of options. We could simply use the rotating tool and rotate this image around the way we want it. But even quicker than that is to use one of the flipping tools. And we have a horizontal and a vertical flipping tool. So if I press that one, the image is now exactly uh, the right way up. I might maybe change the windowing a little bit. It's a wee bit dark. And I can now do what I showed you on the last case, which is to select the rectangle tool, uh, choose the area that I would like uh, to be cropped, uh, press the shutter key, and then press none in the annotations uh, menu. I might possibly just move this down fractionally. And I'm now ready to export this as a new DICOM file. So I go to the file menu, I go to export, and I choose export to DICOM files. Again, current image only. Chest X-ray is my chosen annotation here. And we're going to select the second option, which is as displayed in 16-bit black and white. And we're going to press OK. And then when we go back, we have now got two images. We've got our new image and we've got our old image. And interestingly, you'll notice that although in the thumbnail, uh, the image is still upside down in the display preview, it has gone the right way around. But I'm going to get rid of that because uh, I'm not going to use that again. So I delete that and then I'm just left with the chest radiograph the way I want it. OK, so for the final case, I'm going to show you a slightly different problem. Here is a, an extra triquetral fracture and it's come across from PAX as two images. And uh, not only are they not cropped, but they're at a slight angle. Uh, and this can be a little bit problematical unless you know what to do with it. Now, there are two issues here. There's the cropping of a rotated image, but there's also the fact that these two images are together as one. And when I'm teaching, I quite often want to have the option of showing the candidate only one image. So I would prefer, in cases like this, to divide them into two images. So I'll show you how to do that. Let's first of all concentrate on the frontal view. Uh, first of all, we want to straighten that image up a little bit. And here we would probably use the rotate tool and we can rotate it round so it's not quite so angulated. I'm now going to magnify it up a little bit. And then I'm also going to move it so it's in the centre of the screen. Now you might think at this point that the obvious thing to do would be to crop it. Um, and if we do choose to crop it at this point, I'll show you what happens. It's not what you think. Unfortunately, the cropping tool remembers the angulation of the initial radiograph. So this is not uh, the way to do it. And so we have to do a two-step procedure. So I'll get rid of that region of interest here. And we will go back uh, to getting this image as we want it. So I'm going to move it into the middle of the screen as well. And I'm going to get rid of that logo by pressing none. And what we have to do at this point is now to export this rotated image to a DICOM file. So I'm going to go to my export and I'm going to choose export to DICOM files and um, I'm going to call this one maybe AP and press OK. Now if we now go back to our uh, main menu we've got our original image and then we've got our straightened up image so we're now able to crop that so if we open it up and again, I'll move this into the middle of the image. I can now select my cropping tool. I can 
crop the image the way I want to. For example, like this. Press my shutter window and also press none to get rid of the uh, annotation there. Now I might just move it again across to the middle and I'm now ready to export this as my final image. So I go to export and choose export to Dicon file um, and current image only as displayed in 16-bit black and white and press OK. And now we've now got a nicely cropped single frontal image. So I'm going to get rid of the interim image in the meantime. So we're now going to do exactly the same thing to the lateral view. We're going to do a two-step procedure. First of all, rotating it. And then uh, exporting the rotated image, uh, which is now nice and straight. So I'm going to go File, Export, and Export to Dicon File, and I'll call this one Lateral. And we'll press OK. Go back to our main menu. And here is our rotated uh, view, so we'll open that one up again. I'll again move that into the middle of the image. I'll select my rectangular region of interest for cropping and have it like that. And then I'm going to press none to get rid of, the, I'm going to press the shutter tool and then none. And I'm again going to move this back into the middle of the image. And now I'm ready to export the crop lateral view. So we go export to Dicon files, lateral as displayed in 16 bit black and white and press OK. So when we now look at our database, we've got our nice frontal view and our nice lateral view and I can now at this point delete the two images that I don't need anymore. Now what you could do at this point is merge these images if you wanted to and if you did want to do that you simply highlight both of those uh, images together and you can press Merge Selected Series. I'm not going to do that because once you've merged them, they're merged forever and you can't unmerge them again. So I prefer to be able to look at these images as separate series. So I've covered uh, quickly how you can optimize images that you've got off packs that aren't exactly the way you would like them. They may not be cropped properly, they may be rotated, or you may have two images on one image that you want to separate. And I hope you've found that helpful. Thanks very much.